In today's training lesson, I'm going to show you how to recreate this Jack Reacher TV title. Let's get started. Hey everyone, my name is Cameron with Motion Science, and one of our members recently asked how to recreate this title card from the Jack Reacher TV series. And so I thought it'd be really cool to recreate it and then show you how we would do that. So let's jump into After Effects and let's get started here. All right, so here we are in After Effects, and the first thing we're going to do is add a solid background layer. And this is just a black solid. It's not 100% black but it's close, it's got a little bit of color in it, a little bit of a gray value. On top of that, we have a pre-comp, and this says Reacher. And if I double click this pre-comp, go into it, you're gonna see what we have here is each individual character of the title, R-E-A-C-H-E-R. -E and we've got some keyframes added here. So we've got some keyframes that move out, and then they ease into their position here. And you can see what they're doing here is they're animated on both the position and the scale property. So we're going from 123% down to 90%. And each of the characters is moving in position so that it's starting together, kind of moving back and tracking apart. Now each of these characters also has a texture within it. And you can see that that texture is moving with each character. And let me show you how we did that. If I double click a character here, this is a pre-comp and this is the same pre-comp for each letter which is why we have it masked out here. Now what's happening is we've got the Reacher type and it's being track matted by each of these textures. And you can see there's a lot of textures here. So let me show you what's happening. So if I start here, we've got a texture here in the E, you can really see it. We'll add a texture here, which is the R texture. And I'm just gonna keep turning these on one by one and you can see how we're layering up the textures. Each of these textures is set to a darken mode. And as I continue to turn them on, we are just building up this really nice texture here. So if I turn all of these off, you can see we start with just a very basic texture, but with all of them layered, we've got a really nice texture happening here. So that's the beginning of it. If you're eager to create motion design that's gritty, atmospheric, and cinematic, like the example I'm showing you, I invite you to explore the Motion Science membership at www.motionscience.tv mastery. Inside this membership, you're gonna find hundreds of projects just like this one, including the project files, and they can help you elevate your motion design to develop a very striking cinematic style through our trainings, our techniques, and our supportive community. So I definitely invite you to check it out. Now let's go back to the training. Next thing we're gonna do is jump into our next comp here. And what I have here is, I'm gonna turn this layer on. This is a texture that is sitting in 3D space. And I should also mention the pre-comp is sitting in 3D space as well. And this texture has a levels effect applied to it. So this is without, and this is with. And you can really see it here on the left side, with and without. It's just removing some of that extra texture that I don't wanna see in the gray values there. So I'm turning that back on. We also have another layer of texture sitting over the top. This is a Texture Labs lens effects texture and this is sitting in 3d space if i switch to two views here you can see right here this is where the textures are sitting right they're sitting more forward in z space on top of that we've got a blur layer and all this is is a very simple gaussian blur set to two pixels go back to one view here and this is just softening everything up below it we're softening up the texture layers we're also softening up the type so there's not a super crisp edge the type and then on top of all of this we have a camera layer and the camera layer is also animated and you can see we've got two keyframes here we've got a position that starts at negative 2459.9 and then it moves to a position of negative 2599 and if i play this the camera is moving back as the type also appears to be moving back, right? In reality, the type is scaling back and moving in position, but because the camera is moving back on a 3D pre-comp, it just adds to it. You're also gonna notice that some of this texture, especially over in here, is kind of fading out. So if I select all the layers and hit U, here is the Texture Labs lens effect, and it's going from 100% opacity down to 30%. So it's just kind of dropping in there. We also have the texture layer below it, 100% opacity, dropping to 5%. Start with a lot of texture at the beginning, end with a little texture at the end. Moving on to the next comp, we've got our color gradient. Now what we're using here is a four color gradient with some orange and red values. And we'll go ahead and turn that on, that's an adjustment layer. And that immediately takes us to that world of the fire, right? The orange and the reds and the blacks. 
Next, we've got a lens blur effect, and I'll turn that one on. And that's got a several layers of effects here. So let's just turn those off really quickly, and I'll show you what's going on here. First, we have a quick chromatic aberration three effect. This is a free effect from plugging everything. Very, very subtle. It's just kind of stretching out some chromatic aberration on the sides. Next, we have optics compensation. If I open that up and turn that on, it's just giving our field of view a little bit of warping at the beginning. And again, this is keyframed so that it's more warping and then it kind of drops off here to not much happening at all, right? So this kind of plays into that whole thing. We have layer upon layer of characters moving back in space, the camera pulling back in space, but we also have some effects that are stronger at the beginning and they're also reducing as we move back in space, right? So optics compensation is happening there. We also have a camera lens blur, and this is referencing our layer above it. And if I turn that on, this is just a white solid with a mask applied, a high feather value. And I'll go ahead and turn that off. And this lens blur, camera lens blur, is looking at that layer and saying, okay, whatever isn't white is out of focus. And that's what we see here. So we have really strong edges that are blurred and the center is in focus. And we also have a fast box blur over the top of everything. Again, just kind of softening everything up here at the beginning. You can really see it over the ACH in the middle here. And then as we move through the timeline again, it gets less and less to the point where it's just a little bit of, of blur here. You probably can't even notice it at the end. So that's looking pretty good. We're getting closer. Next composition, we've added some type that comes in. This is new season, February 20th. And you can see that's just an opacity keyframe. It just kind of fades on just like that. It's got some chromatic aberration applied to it, some blur applied to it as well. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add another adjustment layer for color over the top. And this has a lumetri color effect applied. And again, this is, it's almost like it's removing the majority of color here, but we're gonna add something to bring back some of that color, some of that texture. I'm gonna bring up that curve just a little bit so you can still see a little bit of texture there. And over the top of that, we're adding some grain. You give it some nice noise over the top. Again, we just want these textures to be very subtle here, right? It's very, very subtle, nothing over the top. You know, if our eyes can't uh, immediately notice it, we're doing something right here. And for the very last step here, we have added some light leaks that we just brought in some orange solids here. And I'll show you the keyframes here, just some opacity keyframes dropping from 35% down to zero. This is the same one, I just duplicated it. And if I turn these on, these are just solids with some hue saturation applied. So again, now adding these in brings back some of this texture here at the beginning, just for a few frames, right? We're just seeing that texture for the first, basically eight to 10 frames, and then it's gone. And that will do it for the Jack Reacher titles. I hope that you enjoyed watching how this was created just as much as our members loved creating it. See you in the next video.